Okay, so I lied. Um, I'm not pinning her to give me a take her off because I remembered. I need to calculate the increase in the in the size that I'm going. The increase that I'm going to make to the seam allowances. There we go, English. Um, to fit my actual waist size, so I need to add technically two and seven eighths inch to the waist if I want. Obviously, my waist size plus one inch of wearing ease. I don't think I really want one inch of wearing ease. That's the general rule of thumb. But because it's a wedding gown, and again, snatching is the goal. Like, I want her to be as close to my skin as possible. I think I'm actually going to cut that on a half an inch just because I do need to be able to breathe, I guess. Um, so, I'm going to cut that on a half an inch. I know that's risky, but I've done worse <laughs> and survived. So, fine that's okay that's pretty good for me to even add it at all so um i've figured out i'm going to add to every seam allowance except for the center back um simply because the center back it's coming in at it's going to come in at a point um and i just don't really want to mess with that the grading of that dip um so i'm just going to leave that and absorb all of that the increases in all the other seams so what i have determined is that I'll need to add about a quarter inch seam allowance to each of these other, I think is it nine seams or eight seams? One, two, three, four, five. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. Plus another four seams on the other side. Yeah, right, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think it's nine seams. A quarter inch to each of those, which means an eighth of an inch added to each seam allowance per panel, if that makes sense. Um, so, um, I just needed to make know that for myself, so I'm going to write that note on here, um, on the panels, and, and then I'm going to take them off and measure that myself flat so that I know it's accurate, and then I will um, re-true um, these angles and these dips and things, and then I will um, and retrue my seams and then I will transfer it to the left side pieces. So I'll be back for that. Um, I've taken it all down and I'll flip the camera in a second so you can see what I'm doing. But um, also I was, I didn't forget about the, about taking in the seam, um, taking in the um, underbust measurement. Um, but I am still debating whether or not I need to do that because obviously because of the deep cut in the back, it may not actually make a difference since it's only going to be like the front part of my of my bodice that, I'm, that will have any sort of structure or anything. So um, the underbust measurement may not make all that much difference, but I'm still deciding. It depends on about an inch, a little over an inch. Um, so I may I may decrease it somewhere. If I do, it'll be in one spot, like my side seam, or actually not to lie, because I need to distribute. You know I, mean? I don't know. I'm still deciding. You know, for the sake of doing this properly, because it is a bridal gown, and I do want to be as precise as possible, I will make the adjustment. I'll make the adjustment. <laughs> I'll be back. Thank 
It's about 9.30 p.m. I had to take a break um, because the boys woke up from their nap. And so I'm a few hours later. I can't even remember what time they woke up, but I think they must have slept for about an hour. So they must have woke I think they woke up probably around like 5 or 5.30. And I would have st I stopped around that time. I actually need to log that in my little tracker thing. But um, just very quickly, checking in to show you the pieces with the new markings from where I um, ex extended the waist and taken in a little bit, a very little bit at the underbust. Um, and actually, sorry, I just had a thought. I may have even done that wrong, but it might be okay. Anyway, I think it's okay, actually. No, it's fine. Um, I just realized I marked it at the wrong place. I should have actually measured up from my waist but what i should have done i'll show on here what i should have done was like measured up from the waist to figure out exactly where my underbust was um and then taking the measurement at that point um or taking the measurement and then taking it in at that point i just realized that now this happens when you step away from something and come back um or at least for me i usually step away from something and then come back with a little bit more clarity but um because i was doing the um right now i'm doing the bottom part or like the main part the bodice part of the corset which is basically around the under bust anyway i'm not doing the cups yet um i think it'll actually work out to be fine um and i only took it in at two seams anyway two of my nine or ten total seams I've only done it at like okay of the total nine or ten I've, it's, it'll be at four seams excuse me but um I think I'm actually okay that would have been the accurate way to do it but again because of where I'm doing it anyway it kind of happened to fall near that anyway so I'm not going to stress about that and I'll obviously once I have all the pieces cut I'll pin it out or base stitch it and put it on and see how it fits and then make further adjustments from there. Um, but anyway, let me show you how this is looking um, at the moment. All right, so this is what I'm working with right now. It's kind of my starter uh, muslins. So, and I've numbered them, just um, starting from the center front piece, um, moving to the side and then to the back. Um, so I've got five um, pieces here. Um, I decided um, that this, I'm gonna have this cut on the fold um, because the pl I plan, I think, I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put some boning right down my center front and I don't really want a seam. Um, I, want, cause I think I want the boning to be visible potentially. So just in case I decide to do that, um, I don't want a seam cutting that in half. So that'll be on the fold. Um, here's that center. Um, center like front no no the front side piece sorry um and this is the first the back side piece the back basically has three pieces on each side whereas the front has two pieces on each side so now and i've also trimmed around the edges of these um where i could where i had it to give i did in one inch seam allowance and again that's only because well, mainly because, let me say, um, I want to, again, make sure I have enough space in case when I put it on myself, I need to give myself any more, um, if I need to let out the seams anymore, that gives me a little wiggle room. Um, I do think, yeah, I'm still deciding as far as like when I make the actual dress, if I'm going to go with the standard 5 8 seam or if I want to do a 1 inch seam allowance or if I want to do something actually maybe much smaller. Um, Leaving lots of seam allowance obviously means um, opportunity for um, what's it called alterations and stuff later if I need to let it out. Um, so I'm leaning towards doing the one inch seam 
um, but I also it also depend on what I want the finished look to be because I don't want that to be visible from the outside because of all the layers if that makes sense um, but yeah so this is what I've got I'm gonna now do um, use these basically as tra uh, to, I'm gonna basically trace these and make three more sets um, because I am gonna do the double layer to mimic the fashion fabric and the lining um, and see how that looks.